Welcome to The Fame, your go-to source for all the latest news and updates on your favorite celebrities. Today, we're diving deep into the whirlwind world of the Duggar family, a household that's been in the spotlight for years with their ups, downs, and everything in between. Hey, Fame fam, it's your host Emma here, and we've got a jam-packed episode for you today. First up on our radar, the mystery surrounding the eldest Duggar daughter, Jana. It's been two whole years since we've seen hide nor hair of her on Counting On. Where in the world is she? Then, we'll be delving into the scandalous question on everyone's minds. What's the worst thing Ginger Duggar has done? From her rebellious fashion choices to her controversial statements, the tea is hot and we're ready to spill it. Plus, tensions are running high as controversy erupts over the Duggar family's recent mission trip to Nicaragua. Who's involved? What went wrong? And why are fans buzzing about it? Stick around to find out. And last but not least, we're dissecting the uncanny differences between the two generations of Duggar kids that fans have been buzzing about. From parenting styles to personal choices, it's a tale of two families under one roof. So grab your popcorn and settle in, because you won't want to miss a single moment of the drama, intrigue, and jaw-dropping revelations that we've got in store for you today, right here on The Fame. Counting on alum, Jana Duggar, has been conspicuously absent from the online spotlight for the past two years, leaving fans curious about her whereabouts and activities. Once a prominent figure on social media, particularly known for her updates about the Duggar family, the 34-year-old now only occasionally appears in her siblings' vlogs and social media posts, sparking numerous speculations among fans regarding her sudden retreat from the digital realm. Jana Duggar was previously one of the most active daughters of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar on various social media platforms. Fans once affectionately referred to her as the face of the family due to her frequent updates and interactions with followers. There was even speculation that she managed the Duggar family's official Instagram account. However, her online presence diminished significantly, coinciding with her withdrawal from social media. Discussions among fans, particularly on platforms like Reddit, have attempted to unravel the mystery behind Jana's extended absence. Some attribute her retreat to the controversies surrounding her family, particularly the legal issues involving her brother, Josh Duggar, who faced charges related to child sexual abuse material. Others point to Jana's own legal troubles, including allegations of child endangerment filed against her in September 2021. In a public statement addressing the matter, Jana expressed a desire for a more private life, suggesting that legal advice may have influenced her decision to step away from the limelight. Despite her absence from the online sphere, Jana still occasionally makes appearances in her siblings' content. Recent vlogs and social media posts have shown her participating in various activities with her sisters, including visits to a salon and sleepovers. Rumors of a romantic relationship with pilot Stephen Wisman circulated prior to her disappearance, but updates on this front have ceased since her brother's conviction. The ongoing speculation surrounding Jana Duggar's absence underscores the enduring interest fans have in the lives of the Duggar family members and the mysteries that occasionally shroud their activities and decisions. Next, we delve into the polarizing world of Ginger Duggar and her journey filled with eyebrow-raising moments. From her quirky quotes to eyebrow-raising decisions, Ginger's escapades have left many scratching their heads. Remember that time she declared her newfound love for books because her husband did? Yep, that happened. And let's not forget the infamous incident where they left their cat behind during a move from Texas to California. Justice for Jake, anyone, but the icing on the cake? It has to be her grand announcement of being healed and releasing a book, only to find out it was a ploy to lure followers into her new cult. Talk about a plot twist. Then there's the cringeworthy moment on Counting On when she sported what many dubbed sex hair during her honeymoon. Thanks reality TV. And who can ignore the uncomfortable dynamic between Ginger's husband Jeremy and her father, which seems more like a bizarre tea session before filming, awkward much, but wait, there's more. From her questionable pronunciation of Jesus to her tendency to jump from one cult to another, Ginger's journey is nothing short of tumultuous. Let's not overlook her stint as a cooking show host on YouTube or her promotion of dubious Christian health insurance schemes, which left many questioning her intentions, especially when faced with heartbreaking comments 
comments from families in need, and while some may argue she didn't outright condemn her sister Jill during her ordeal, her lukewarm response and subsequent self-promotion certainly raised a few eyebrows. Oh, and her book, aptly titled Becoming Free Indeed, with a questionable indeed thrown in for good measure, a nod to the infamous Free Ginger platform, perhaps, join us as we unravel the enigma that is Ginger Duggar and her trail of eyebrow-raising moments that continue to baffle and entertain. Austin recently visited Nicaragua, accompanied by a companion who appears strikingly similar to Jackson, raising speculation among observers. Contrary to past incidents where Jackson got lost at airports during travels this time around, he seems to have stayed by Austin's side. Hints about Austin's whereabouts had been dropping from joy, indicating he was somewhere down there. However, some express frustration that instead of genuinely aiding locals, Austin and company prefer to embark on 5,000-mile journeys to assume the role of benevolent white saviors. Critics argue they could make a more meaningful impact by assisting neighbors dealing with food insecurity or elderly individuals in need of support. In a photograph, Jackson bears a resemblance to Josiah, and observers note his increasing similarity to other family members, particularly the Jeds. Some lament the end of Jackson and Josiah Johanna's comedic partnership phase, reminiscing about their past antics. Commentary veers toward speculation about the activities of fundy men during these missions, often engaging in manual labor away from their spouses. The presence of a group of younger men, sometimes referred to as lost boys, prompts discussion, with one individual identified as a Swanson by their attire. Observers remark on Jackson's growth, noting changes in his appearance, particularly his hairline, without regular exposure to the family's social media content. Criticism extends to the fashion choices of the men in the photograph, likening their beards to those associated with the January 6th events. Amidst banter about the identities of individuals in the image, one observer humorously refers to a figure as Austin's chubby doppelganger, resonating with those who have experienced similar transformations themselves. Speculation continues regarding the identity of individuals in the photo, with one observer considering whether Jackson is accompanied by J. Taylor. Overall, there's a sentiment that such mission trips may serve more to boost the participants' self-esteem than to genuinely assist those in need. Finally, we're delving into the world of the Duggar family, where fans have uncovered some surprising differences between the older and younger generations of Duggar kids. First off, let's talk appearances. It seems that many fans have noticed a distinct contrast in looks between the older and younger siblings. With 19 kids spanning over two decades, it's natural to expect some variation, but fans have pointed out that the younger set seems to have a different aesthetic altogether. Could this be attributed to changes in DNA over time? Some speculate it might have to do with epigenetics and improved nutrition during the family's reality TV years. But the mysteries don't stop there. Fans have hilariously joked about Michelle and Jim Bob's printer running out of ink, suggesting that after so many kids, the gene pool might be getting a bit diluted. Yet, amidst the banter, there are some intriguing family resemblances emerging. From Josie's striking similarity to Josiah to the uncanny likeness between Jeremiah and Jennifer, it's clear that genetics still play a significant role in shaping the Duggar clan. However, it's not just appearances that differ between the two generations. With the younger Duggar kids, no longer in the spotlight following the cancellation of their reality TV shows, much about their lives remains shrouded in mystery. While courtships and weddings were once televised affairs, the younger siblings are now forging their paths away from the cameras. With a smaller household size and a shift in dynamics, it's a whole new world for the younger Duggar. So, what does the future hold for the younger Duggar siblings? With the older ones branching out and starting families of their own, it's a time of change and transition for the famous family. Join us as we uncover the latest developments in the lives of the Duggar and explore the fascinating differences between the two generations. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things fame.